Well, this is interesting. It looks like there might be a new king of large language models, and that king is Anthropic's new Claude 3 range of LLMs. So let's just go down to this one chart here. This is perhaps the most important part of this page because it details all of the different common tests that people run on large language models to determine how intelligent they are, basically. And you can see now that these new three models from uh, Claude 3, the Opus being the most intelligent and most expensive to use if you're into development, uh, is the top one. Then there's Claude 3's Sonnet, which is the second one down, and then Claude 3 Haiku, which is their kind of lower end model. Just a little bit like you have with uh, OpenAI's GPT levels. They've got the same, these kind of three different models. But look at this here. You know, you've got uh, also Gemini 1.0 Ultra and Gemini 1.0 Pro in this chart here. And it's coming out on top, the Claude 3 Opus. And even this Sonnet does pretty well. If you take a look at these, let me zoom in a little bit on this for you right now. There we go. So uh, undergraduate level knowledge, MMLU test here, 86.8% uh, now with Claude 3 Opus versus GPT-4, 86.4. Now that doesn't sound too much, but GPT-4 has been top dog for quite some time, really. And then you've got grade school, uh, grade school maths, which is also uh, a pretty strong test as large language models have previously kind of struggled a little bit with maths because you need a greater understanding of how everything works. It's not just based on recalling knowledge as such. And look at it, 95% it's got on the maths test. Then code, it seems to do really well on code. This is another port, an important sort of part of using LLMs is the code, 84.9%. That is impressive compared to GPT's uh, 4's best effort of 67%. And then Gemini 1 Ultra, which is their top model at the moment that you know we can't all get our hands on yet even. Uh, it's only for enterprise at the moment, at the time of doing this video. And even that is at 74.4%. So they've come out, you know, all guns blazing and uh, arms swinging here. So here's some more tests with vision because it can also do a really good job of interpreting what it sees in pictures. And uh, you can see document uh, visual Q&A, the ANLS score test. It's got 89.3%, only beaten marginally there by a Gemini 1 Ultra, which we might have seen in their demonstration of their language model. It did look pretty impressive, you know, when they were just constantly asking the model what a certain picture or a video is doing or the person's doing in that video. And it was able to quickly reel that off. Um, but it's still coming out really well. Science diagrams, it turns out that their middle version, the Sonnet, is 88.7% which is above all of them by a considerable margin. So there's some really good things that they've been doing here. Um, it's got in fewer refusals where it says basically, no, we're not going to answer that question for like security reasons or something silly like that. Improved accuracy by far over the previous models. In case you didn't know, the previous models with Claude were Claude 2.1, which was their sort of best effort to date. And, and then also Claude 1.2 Instant, which is their low level GPT 3.5 style of large language model. Now, don't forget that Anthropic has had billions invested in it by uh, none other than our friends at Google. So crazy that they would do that. But I guess they're hedging their bets and probably looking at Anthropic and thinking, well, if they do do a better job than us, at least we've got a massive vested uh, interest there and that we end up uh, profiting from that technology. It's also proven to be extremely accurate uh, in terms of finding information. So this a good test for this that they often do is they'll take a huge, say, book, a volume of books, and then they'll just put one little strange sentence in amongst that whole thing or just one comment about one part of the book, and then they'll do a search for that using the large language model and see if it's able to effectively go and find that tiny snippet of information in amongst the masses. And obviously, the better it does that, 
um, then, you know, the better the large language model is full stop at being able to uh, give accurate responses. And by the way, if you want to actually use Claude 3 in your own chatbot and have your own chatbot uh, on your own website or for your own private use, my development team at FastBots have actually installed Claude 3 already right here on our own platform that you can use. And you can see, um, for example, on this particular plan here, you get access to uh, Claude 1.2, GPT-4, 4 Turbo, Claude 3 Sonnet and Claude 3 Opus. And then you can try out the different language models here. And then you can see any conversations that any anyone has had with the chatbot, whether that's yourself or if you uh, put this on your website and have your AI chatbot live for people to use, then you're able to go and see what language model was used and you can kind of test out the responses. Now, in my testing, um, it really seems to be that Claude 3 Sonnet performs really quite well. I'd say that's right up there with uh, GPT-4 Turbo. And then Opus is, is sort of providing the same level of responses, but it is slower. So it may be that you don't need all that power that Opus comes with and that actually Sonnet will probably do a really good job. And then with uh, FastBots, and there's a link underneath this video, if you'd like to go and uh, sign up for a free chatbot, you can use GPT 3.5 and Claude 1.2 on the free plan. You, all you need to do is you just come to here and switching language models is this simple. You just literally press that, press that, and that's it done. Now your chatbot, which is like right here, will be using that particular model. So if I say, um, you know, how much is your pro plan, for example, on this particular chatbot that I'm using for another business, it should have a think about it and then give us the answer using that particular uh, chat bot language model. And there you go, our pro plan includes and so on. So you can see the way it's responding there, but I would like to now, if I just copy this question, you can see how different models basically react differently. Now let's use the, the Sonnet model to ask the same question. There we go, so how much is your pro plan? So what this chatbot has done, has learned all about this particular business. There you go, look at the speed at the response, and it's pretty much exactly the same. In fact, it's gone into a little bit more detail, so this is why I quite like that model. And you can see all of the chat history there. As I say, there it is, there's the chat we've just had. And this is how we train the chatbot. We can add in all of these links from a website, a, a knowledge base, even YouTube videos, PDFs, whatever you wanna do really. Look, you just click add, and then you drag and drop files in there and uh, and just add all of these different things. And then we can use all of those new Claude language models on them. Or the uh, GPT-4 Turbo, which I feel is probably the sort of uh, best of the these models here, the OpenAI models. And then you've got Claude Instant, which I have found to be a little bit dodgy, to be honest. But that is going to be replaced with this model up here, the uh, Haiku model, which is going to be their new one. But at the moment, at the time of doing this video, it says here somewhere, there you go, Haiku will be available soon. So it's not available at the moment. But as soon as it is, we'll put it in on uh, fastbots.ai so you can use it as well. And that will be to replace Claude Instant. So that will be our... A uh, free one that you can use, um, you know, whenever you're using your chatbot, if you'd like to do that. So that's it. Exciting times. It looks like we have a new king and that new king of the large language models right now until OpenAI or Google just go and trump them again uh, is the new Claude 3 Opus model, which seems to be, by all accounts, the most intelligent large language model available for us to use at the moment. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you uh, want to watch another one, there'll be one coming up any second now. See you again soon.